Beyond the bloodshed on the ground, the Russia-Ukraine conflict continues to play out as an info war. At this moment, the focus is on the death and destruction in Bucha, just outside Kyiv. Russian media is reportedly pushing the narrative that Ukrainian neo-Nazis placed the dead bodies in the streets after Russian troops retreated. But satellite images analyzed by American media outlets, as well as foreign governments, prove that's not the case. German officials say bodies were visible on the footage since March 10th. Glaubhafte Hinweise belegen, dass ab dem 7. März bis einschließlich 30. März russische Streit- und Sicherheitskräfte in diesem Gebiet eingesetzt waren. Sie waren auch mit der Befragung von Gefangenen befasst, die anschließend exekutiert worden sind. Here in the U.S., governing agencies are taking matters into their own hands. Here's Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. President Biden has rallied over 30 countries, representing well over half the world's economy, to impose swift, severe sanctions and export controls on Russia. Treasury is also working with our partners to block Russia from accessing benefits from the uh, international financial institutions. Attorney General Merrick Garland says the DOJ is also making moves. The first action we are announcing today is the unsealing of an indictment charging Russian oligarch Konstantin Malafev with sanctions violations. The second action we are announcing today is the disruption of a global botnet controlled by the Russian military intelligence agency, commonly known as the GRU. The Russian government has recently used similar infrastructure to attack Ukrainian targets. But is anything these agencies do enough to make a difference? War crimes are litigated in international criminal court, but Putin's rejected the ICC's jurisdiction.